Uh, the idea started uh, in 2011. Um, there was a documentary about uh, Sri Lanka's end of war. It's called Sri Lanka's Killing Field. Uh, that's, had, uh, that's done by the Channel 4, British Channel 4. And I watched it, I looked at it, and uh, it was very brutal and deep. And then uh, that's how it's triggered. Like, uh, I, I, it really disturbed me, and then I said, OK, let's do something about it. And I started writing about it. Well, how did you pick such a team of actors, directors, producers to work together on a movie like this? Yep, uh, you know, uh, uh, I knew Lennon uh, in the long before, even when he did uh, the, the film 1999. I happened to be in the, uh, in the cast and crew uh, premiere show, and I really liked it. And from then on, uh, I was always curious about the, if he's working on another project, but it took him uh, almost three years to come up with another project. And I happened to be in an event uh, with a few friends of mine. Uh, one of the executive producers, he's not here today, uh, he's a Bayesian man, he's a producer friend of mine. And uh, we were just talking, he said that he has a script, uh, it's very interesting and maybe you should take a look at it. So uh, I, I met Lenin the next day and uh, we went through a few things and I gave him the script. I went back home, I took an hour to read it. And I really liked it, uh, the way it is, the way it connects, uh, everything, I enjoyed it. So I made a call and I, I, I just uh, told him that it's a go. I, I love the script and I would be very good to make. And just uh, let's do it. Uh, the actors, uh, it was all Lenin's uh, choice. Uh, I told him uh, right from the beginning uh, we have to uh, testify the script. So we need the actors uh, to testify the characters. So uh, we went ahead with it for, uh, we, we had auditions and workshops for the actors. And when it comes to the team, uh, we had a great team. A uh, lot of uh, people volunteered their time uh, for the film. And uh, even when, when it comes to the team, a uh, lot of them are, uh, are our famous team from, uh, from 1999. And we also got uh, some new team members, but again, uh, all of them, uh, they were real friendly on the set. We went through a lot of tough time, and we shot this film in uh, 14 days. Uh, but we, uh, it would have not been possible without the help of the team. But they, they, uh, it's, it's their passion and their dedication towards the film made all that. I played the role of uh, John. The detective that follows his heart, uh, maybe a little bit uh, too far. And uh, preparation-wise, uh, I, uh, I would like to say help that I actually worked for the Toronto Police as a civilian for a few years, so I, I was familiar with that kind of lifestyle. So uh, I do want to add a little bit. Um, my grandfather was a police officer, uh, so. I had some experience with it. So, um, in terms of the, the, the depth of the character, um, yeah, I, I really researched the script, and uh, you know, I, my own personal thing is I, I meditate this sort of thing for the mindset of uh, being in the present moment, which I think is really important as an actor. Um, and I had wonderful actors to work with, and, and that really helps. And what's your takeaway from it? My takeaway? The first one. Oh. Uh, well, my takeaway is that like, I, I feel very blessed to work with this team, um, to work to help uh, fulfill Lennon's vision, um, that and really the, the team is, is, is what gets you there. And, uh, and it's about the team. Yes. Uh, there is a movie I portrayed earlier. By nature, a brutal man, but who was struggling to hide his brutal mindset in this movie. But at the climax, then I'm coming up as ill man that means Iron Man, for which I am the subtitle to. I'm who is awarded him from Sri Lanka. Um, she lost everybody in the family, not only in the family, but also in the village. And uh, she comes to Canada uh, to marry a man who abandoned her at the airport. So she struggles. She can hope that, that he abandoned her, but she struggles with the past that because of survivor guilt, um, why me? Why did I survive and anybody else? 
or kill? And she's not looking for answers. Um, so in the movie she grows. She, she's fighting to survive. And she's, she's kind of like a statement that um, she's alive. There's, um, there's a hope in choosing life. And um, at the end, she's liberated. She's uh, happy. Uh, hello, um, I play the character of Adi, who is a young man, extremely introverted young man, who just happens to be gay. And I think the relationship or the lack of a relationship with his father is something that is happening all over the world, where two generations are trying to meet. And clearly there are differences, and Adi is trying to live the life that he wants, but at the same time he is under extreme pressure to meet the expectations of his overbearing father. And we all know what happens when we try to live another person's life. It ends in tragedy. But hopefully there is some redemption for this character as well. I think that's what he's ultimately seeking, redemption. And he goes about trying to find it. Hi. Uh, my name is Vasta, I come from uh, my, uh, I play this character, Nana. Uh, I come to Sarnatma uh, to Kara, uh, uh, This is totally, uh, the real story across the uh, uh, world, uh, I think this film is important, and I, I really, I think, uh, thanks for my help, uh, thanks for my help. Uh, my name is Nemo. I'm an associate producer and also a location manager. Um, it's my second project working with Lenny after 1999. I must say I'm one of the 50 stars uh, who actually were behind the camera who made this possible. Uh, it was a too long, hard working schedule for us and we, we, had, we all had to stay really focused and be tough at all because it was, like we said, really hard. Our schedule starts early at 6 o'clock, sometimes it goes us to 4 o'clock in the morning, of course, and we report back on set at 6 o'clock again. So, I must say we all worked hard, and I guess the project came out amazingly, and that's why we are here. So, thank you, guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Bobby. I'm a father, an actor, and an associate producer. Also, what I would like to thank Michael uh, Media and Lenin and some of the Fishman and other uh, cast people. Um, it was a great experience that I was working with. So I'm just going to say a few words because I don't want to take away from the movie, but I'm here on behalf of the government of Canada to help represent the film here in China and to, um, I think, highlight the quality of Canadian films. And this particular story, as you see, has many different stories that happen within it and real-life experience of some immigrants coming to Canada. We're pleased that we're able to tell this story and we're pleased uh, very much so that audiences around the world get to also understand a little bit more about um, the different dynamics. Um, and I just want to congratulate everyone for your involvement. Yeah, to, to pick six stories, um, the, the idea is about uh, the different generation of people, like the early years, the second generation, and the newcomers and who already came to Canada and the established people, they all uh, they all are haunted by this past, the Buddha world. And uh, the way that I, I put all these six stories, um, it's just to uh, get the audience attention, I try something new. Uh, well, I don't know whether it's worth, but uh, <laughs> it's, to, to, it's to make it more interesting. I just uh, would like to add a a statement because uh, uh, we were very really excited when we, when we uh, got the news that we, we were nominated for uh, the Golden Goblet uh, one year, and uh, we, we are uh, after.
every coming year and say, like, we, we are amazed with the hospitality we have received this year. So uh, we would like to thank uh, SIP for this, uh, this chance. And also we would like to thank uh, the Council of General of Canada for uh, their support and help and also for their presence here. It means a lot to us. And also, uh, personally, I would like to thank uh, the director of MINA, Mr. Michel Pellet, for being here to support us. Thank you.